Hi guys, this is me, Rusty78609, live and in color from Goat Hill Campground uh, near uh, Red River, uh, New Mexico. Uh, it's July the 12th, 2017 at about 6.15, 6, yeah, about 6.15 a.m. Mountain Standard Time. And I mentioned in a video previously about a mouse that had moved into the White House. And I got me some traps in San Luis, Colorado two of them and <laughs> what we have here is Mr. Mouse Mr. Dead Mouse so Mr. Dead Mouse do not get in the White House <laughs> got gotcha, you didn't you, you greedy bastard <laughs> Oh golly, so what we did, we don't don't touch it with your hand. Let me tell you, these little rodents out here can carry a lovely little virus that you don't want anything to do with. So what I've done is this right here is a plastic bag and I haven't touched anything yet. So what I'm going to do is take this guy right here and give him a proper burial. Mr. Mouse. For getting in the White House, you were sentenced to die. And now you have paid the supreme price. And now, ashes to ashes, dust to dust, go in the river and, and don't you rush. What oh, shit. Look <laughs> what happened. <laughs> there he goes. There goes the mouse down the river. Bye-bye, mouse. So much for that little mystery. Now he can't eat up the wires on my truck, and he can't eat any more of my food, and or ruin any more of my food. He doesn't eat much of it. He just tears open my bag, and then I have to throw the whole thing away. But anyway, this is the White House right here, guys. It is a pickup with a camper top on it that I have rigged up a bed on this side, and I got a little table up there that's part of the bed. Actually, that's just all one piece of plywood almost. And that's a refrigerator, a CF-18, that's a battery. I've got solar, I've got everything I need, and this is a wonderful little campsite. There's one other camper here. Well, he wasn't here yesterday evening, he showed up during the night. And what this guy is going to do here, he's what you call, I call a skater. He just came in and he's going to skate out here without paying, you can bet on that. But that's okay. A lot of people do that, I'm sure. But not rusty, I pay, I play by the rules, I'll pay. But anyway, there's a beautiful little stream right here and I'm just gonna do a short video, but again, this is July the 12th. And there's a big mountain up here. And we come back down to the nice, lovely stream that I am parked. I'm about uh, 20 feet from the stream in the White House. And last night, I could look out my window and see the beautiful trees and hear the stream all night long. Over there, I can look out the window over here and see this out here, which is nice. I've got a great place to go walking. There is a road near here, I will tell you that. There's a highway, not a very busy highway, but for a lot of people don't camp here because of the what, what they believe to be road noise. But if you get over here by the stream, you can't hear, hear the road noise for the stream anyway, and the stream will put you asleep. But this is my walking spot right here for in the morning. I, I've been here before several times. And what I do, I just walk in loops around these trees because that path right here goes pretty far back in there and then it loops around and comes back that way. But the only thing is you have to be careful of here. This is bear country. Uh, I haven't seen any tracks or any scat bear shit. So I'm not uh, paranoid. And also, one of the things you can uh, see occasionally is where they, you know, they rake their claws down a tree. Haven't seen that, but I got to show you something too. This will be part of the video, and then I'll shut up. When people go camping, they give their kids little axes and stuff because they want to be outdoorsmen. Okay, well here's what the little outdoorsmen do. You see how they've chopped on this tree right here? That's not good, folks. You don't need to do that. What are you going to do? Try to chop this tree? this tree too? You can see where they've chopped into it right here. Uh, over here and and all, all these trees around here all of them all of them have been chopped into why because the kids had an axe they didn't have anything else to do so they started chopping you know and the same way with this guy here you, know, you can see where they left the scars you know same way same way over here the same way 
you know, the reason this bark's all knocked off is because somebody uh, chopped on it. And what happens is uh, that tree will die eventually. And then somebody did this brilliant thing, drove a, about a 30 penny nail in it, which is genius. And then right here, here's another one right here that just chopped into it for no reason, you know. The, the, the illusion is, is that you're gonna chop these trees down. Uh, it, not in your lifetime, you're not. And then here's another guy that decided that he was gonna set up his tent so he just drives a nail right in the tree, okay? Uh, guys, we don't need to do that. We really don't, huh? We really don't. But you can see all the trees, all the trees around within you know, near this campsite have been chopped on i'm telling you it's crazy man now these these here the the park service cuts those down whenever they're whenever the tree is dead and it looks like it's going to fall and be a hazard then the forest service will cut that tree down okay and what will happen is is people chop on these trees and then the trees die and then the forest service has to cut them down that's the end of that but anyway, it's a beautiful spot. I love it. And there's my levers. This time I had to use my levelers, those little yellow blocks under my wheels. And they work perfectly. The truck is perfectly level right there. Isn't that, a, I mean, that is a work of art, isn't it? The White House, I have to tell you, I'm a little more inspired today than I was the past few days because I, I was having some trouble finding what I considered a really good campsite. And this is a really good campsite, but the downside of it is, of course, there is no cell phone access. Well, you got, you, 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 if you have Verizon, you have cell phone access to make calls and, and send text. But as far as uploading a video or watching a video or going to different sites on the internet, uh, very, very limited. You're not going to upload a video. Well, you could upload one. It'd probably take you about a month. Okay. But having said that, I'm going to cruise over to Red River today, and then I'll do some uploading there. I think I've got cell phone data service there. But anyway, guys, live in color from the White House on July the 12th, this is Rusty78609 saying, Adios, goodbye. Buy USA made when you can. Drink plenty of water. Three or four quarts a day will not hurt you. You may pee pee like a racehorse or a two or three peckered possum, but you'll feel the hell of a lot better, and it's good for you. You won't have gout. It'll flush out all those preleans or something that cause gout it'll also reduce your chance of getting kidney stones if you drink plenty of fluid plenty of water not not fluid water 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 and uh, take deep breaths in through your nose and out through your mouth several times a day why because that'll relieve stress relieving stress lowers your blood pressure lowering your blood pressure your heart doesn't have to work so hard stretch walk keep, you know do things keep your health that's what it's all about i feel pretty good and friday if i'm still here i'll be 72 years old and I plan to do this uh, for a while. I plan, I, I'll probably be here. I'm, I'm not going to say it. I always say I'm going to be somewhere for a few days and I change my mind. So anyway, I might be here for a few days. But anyway, guys, enjoy your day. Adios. Bye-bye.